subscribe and download over 1 million code snippet including this tutorial from codegive.com, link in the description below. Certainly. Residual networks, ResNets, are a type of deep neural network architecture that are easier to optimize and train compared to plain deep networks. ResNet V2 is an improved version of the original ResNet that introduces some modifications to the architecture to enhance performance. In this tutorial, I'll guide you through implementing a ResNet V2 model using PyTorch with code examples. First, make sure you have PyTorch installed. You can install it via pip. We'll create a custom ResNet V2 model using PyTorch. For this tutorial, we'll implement a basic version of ResNet v2. Now that we have defined the ResNet v2 model, let's instantiate it and use it with some example data. To train the model, you'd need a data set, loss function, optimizer, etc. You can use PyTorch's data loader for handling data sets and a suitable loss function like cross entropy loss. Additionally, you'll need to define an optimizer such as SGD or Atom. Here's a basic example of how you might set up the training loop. This tutorial provides a basic implementation of ResNet v2 in PyTorch. Adjustments and enhancements can be made based on your specific use case, such as modifying the number of layers, adding regularization techniques, or using different data sets for training and evaluation. Remember to replace placeholders like train underscore loader, test underscore loader, criterion, optimizer, number underscore epochs, and log underscore interval with your actual data and hyperparameters. Always consult the PyTorch documentation for further details on modules, optimizers, and datasets to fine-tune and optimize your model. Chat GPT